Uh, we're here with Ben Hunt. Ben, your maiden selection in the Kangaroos side. What was it like this morning to pull on that green and gold jersey? Oh, it felt surreal, you know. Um, you know, I picked it up and just had a quick look at it and you know, I couldn't really believe it. I was about to pull it over my head, really, but, um, you know, it's a great feeling. How long have you been dreaming of this moment? Oh, ever since I started playing football, really. Um, you know, I think it's every kid's dream to play for their country and, you know, you know to represent their country the best they can and, you know, that's something I've always wanted to do. Obviously a lot of hard work and um, you know, you've been rewarded for that as well at the Broncos um, by getting player of the year. Tell us how much has gone into getting you here. Uh, extreme amount of hard work, um, you know, come back to the off season where it started and you know, just working hard in the off season by myself and then getting into pre-season, have a great pre-season and you know, getting an opportunity you know, to play halfback in the position I always wanted to play and you know, I was really thankful for Hook that he gave me that opportunity to play there and, um, you know, I've had a pretty good year there and hopefully it's just cemented my spot. Yeah. Um, you played a lot um, for the Broncos this year, cementing your spot in that, um, in that side. What was the sort of turning point? You said you worked really hard in the off-season, obviously the year before that, um, you know, wasn't the best for you, but what, what was the turning point? Um, I think, oh, like, start of pre-season really, and um, Hook told me that he wants me to play halfback for the rest of the year and it's my position to lose. And, you know, I just got that in my head and, you know, I just wanted to go for it and make it my position because, you know, that's, a, that's where I always wanted to play, like I said. And um, once he told me that, you know, I was, I, it was mine. Um, you played in the Prime Minister's 13 as well. Um, tell us about that experience. It was a great experience going up there. Um, you know, they're extremely passionate about their football and PNG. And, you know, I met a lot of great fellows up there on our side. And, you know, we're lucky enough to get the win up there. And, you know, it's definitely something I won't forget. What did you take out of that in terms of, you know, yourself as a footballer? Um, you know, just to respect the way they play their football definitely is one of the things I took away from it. You know, they're 100 mile an hour and everything they do. And, um, you know, they're one of the toughest, most physical teams I've, I've had to come against. And you played alongside a lot of the guys that have been named in, in the squad as well, um, some new faces. Does that make things a little bit more familiar for you coming into this squad now? Yeah, it does. You know, it was, it was good to meet a few of the boys up there and, you know, play alongside some of the fellas and, you know, get to know them. And, you know, there's a few boys from the Queensland camp and I went into that I know as well. So hopefully that can make me fit in a bit easier. What are you hoping to get out of camp? I mean, obviously um, some of the guys may not actually get a run, but being here, what are you hoping to achieve? Um, well, first thing, I'd just like to learn as much as I can off, you know, the excellent players that are here. Um, if I don't get the opportunity to play, then I'd really like to just learn as much as I can and, you know, take in as much knowledge that they can give me. Anyone in particular? Are there any, any heroes in this side of yours? Uh, Cooper Cronk could be one. Um, you know, I think he's one of the best halfbacks in our game. He has been for quite a time and uh, when I went to Origin camp, he wasn't there. So, you know, he's one that I'll try and get a bit out of. Uh, obviously only a week's worth of preparation. Um, how do you think Tim's going to go trying to get all the combinations right and making those um, decisions? Yeah, I'm not too sure, you know. Um, Tim's been doing it for a long time now. He, he's really good at it and, you know, whatever combinations he wants to put together or team he wants to go with, I think he'll be the right one and, you know, hopefully I'm part of it. What do you think you'll bring to the side if, if you do get a chance to, um, to take the field? Um, I think just like a utility role, you know, um, where he wants me to play, hopefully, as somewhere off the bench and I'll just bring a lot of energy and, you know, really lift the team when I come on. Obviously, you've never faced an English side before or a New Zealand side or even Samoan for that matter. What do you know about them and, and are you nervous about, um, you know, battling in, in this sort of international game? Um, not so much nervous yet. I guess if I get named in one of the games, I'll probably get a bit nervous then. But, you know, I know they're always really tough physical games, you know, especially against New Zealand. You know, they've got a great forward pack and so does England now. So, you know, if I get a chance to play, um, I'm going to have to get, get prepared for a physical game. And just lastly, I mean, what was the um, re uh, response from family and friends when, when you got selected? Oh, a lot of them just couldn't believe it, really. Um, you know, I called my mum and dad, like, they were just over the moon for me. Um, you know, they couldn't believe it. And, you know, they're just very proud of me and, you know, want me to succeed and, and they're just hoping I get a run somewhere.